Shalom brothers and sisters. So this morning's scripture for the day that I want to get you started on is going to touch on the one scoffer we bump into almost every day, all the time, within the body of Christ. And it's frustrating to the point that sometimes you might want to headbutt them or just walk away in frustration, but we walk in love and encouragement to all, even the sleepers. So let me go through the scripture with you. And I'm going to show you what they miss or what they don't look at or focus on at all. They focus on the very first sentence in this passage. Mark 13 verse 32 to 37. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Take heed, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time is. It is like a man going to a far country who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to each his work and commanded the doorkeeper to watch. Watch therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming in the evening, at midnight, at the crowing of the rooster or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say to you, I say to all, watch. Four times, he says, watch. Four gospels. Four times, he says, watch. Watch, therefore, watch. So take heed, watch and pray. And that is the best advice for the times we're living in, the darkest time of mankind, the heaviest spiritual attacks, the, the most powerful darkness rising yet. We persist and we endure and we run our race because we watch, which encourages each other and ourselves, and we pray. The fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Watch and pray, for you do not know when the time is. <clears throat> then he's made a statement you don't know when the time is so let me explain to you what it's like now he's giving tips it is like a man going to a far country all the way up to heaven who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to each his work many different callings many different ways to do the work and commanded the doorkeeper the watchman to watch Watch, watch therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming. It doesn't say you do not know thousands of years. It says you do not know in the evening, at midnight, at the crowing of the rooster, or in the morning. We can narrow the timing down because we look at all the scriptures where Jesus talks about those times and he gives us clues. And he says the same way we look at the weather in the morning and I'm looking again and I can see that even though it rained in the last day or two, the heat wave has come back. So it's going to be fumingly hot later today into tomorrow. So as a lay person, I'm not even a weather host. I can tell the weather by watching and looking at the sky, the wind and other signs around me. We should so be watching and he's given us various signs. So that when he comes, like he warns, lest coming suddenly in the twinkling of an eye, he find you sleeping like the five virgins who did not have enough oil. And what I say to you all is watch exclamation mark. This is important. If you're so busy, <clears throat> sorry, watching for God. If you're so busy seeking clues and guidance from the Holy Spirit and investing your time, your energy, your physical perseverance into the gospel of Jesus Christ, the light of the Most High God, in sharing that, in getting the message out, in touching lives, in improving, in forgiving those you need to forgive, in changing yourself, in molding ourselves to become more like our Redeemer, in following the water walker. If we spend our time doing those things and yearning for the bridegroom, Thus we will be ready. 
Thus we will endure every attack by the evil one. We will run the race set before us. We will be strengthened by the Holy Spirit and by the power of the Most High God when the devil comes like a roaring lion. He is not a roaring lion. He is a weak imitation of a roaring lion. He is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. He may not devour me. I am awake. I am watching. I am blood bought. I am battle born. I am standing with the water walk. I have the Holy Spirit at my side, the full armor of God on, and I forge ahead regardless of circumstance, regardless of attack, regardless of challenges. And we pray and we watch and we encourage and we hope and we shine until coming suddenly. He finds us watching. Commit your ways to him and he will make your paths straight. God bless. Keep watching.